I kicked my dad and brother out of my house. Author is mentioned in the description. I 39 female and my husband 40 male have 4 kids but this really only concerns our oldest daughter, Stella, 15. My husband and I want all our kids to have some type of involvement in the community so twice a month the oldest two serve as ushers with my dad at our local Catholic church. This consists of them Stella 15, Owen 14 holding doors open for people coming to church, passing out the baskets for the offertory, and dismissing pews to get up and in line for communion. My father is also an usher so they do this with him. This past said it was their day to usher. My parents picked up all four kids and took them to church and dinner. When they got home my husband and I were at a Halloween party but Stella texted to tell me they were home and watching a movie and asked me to send her some pictures of everyone's costumes. The next day, Stella tells me that she doesn't want to usher anymore. She said as she was holding one of the doors open an old man named Joseph 80 seconds who is apparently very active in the church walked up to her and told her to follow him. He directed her to the main doors of the church to greet people. He held her hand the whole time, asked her how old she was and if she had a boyfriend, told her she is so pretty but she should smile more. Then he demanded that she smile at everyone coming into the church, told her that he would be her boyfriend and asked her if she loved him. She said she was very uncomfortable but couldn't get anyone's attention to help her. He then tried to make her sit with him during mass. After Stella told me all of this, I immediately called my mom to ask her what happened because I hadn't heard anything from her, my dad or Stella about this until right then. She said that Stella did tell my dad that she was uncomfortable, and he told her she didn't have to usher, and she could go sit with my mom and her younger siblings for mass. My mom told me she was not made aware of everything that had happened. All she knew was that Stella was uncomfortable around the man. So to the meat of the story, my brother 36 came over last night to see my husband for a little bit, and while he and Hubs were in the garage having a drink, my parents dropped by unannounced to bring the kids some candy. I hadn't spoken to my dad since I have learned everything that had happened at church a few days prior. So after greeting my parents I asked my dad if Joseph serves in an official capacity at church and my dad said no. I then asked my dad if he was going to talk to the head priest to make him aware of the situation and he said he only planned to talk to him if Joseph gave him any pushback. I argued that the priest should be made aware because we don't know if this is a pattern of behavior. If he has dementia or something other illness that causes him to not be in complete control of his actions or what. I just wanted the priest to be made aware so he could keep an eye out. My father argued back that Joseph is just a nice old man who got out of line because in this day you can't be nice without it being taken the wrong way. Cue the head explosion. I told him that sweeping this behavior under the rug by just asking this old man for an apology and not saying anything else about it makes it possible for Jospe to behave this way with another girl. My father continued to argue his point and said that if he did what I was asking, the church would just prevent him from doing what he likes to do at church. I then very loudly told my dad that if being a fucking creep is what he enjoys doing, then maybe the church should prevent him from doing that and told my parents they needed to leave. As my dad was walking out he said sarcastically, I'm sorry I don't want to crucify the old man. I fucking lost it y'all. I yelled at my father that I was sorry that he cared more about some old man's feelings than his own granddaughters. My brother then decided to get it on the shit show and started saying I was just being vengeful, and wanted to vilify the old man and preclude him from a public space, and that what happened wasn't that big of a deal. While standing three feet from Stella, I was so fucking pissed at this point I was crying and shaking. I told my brother that he likes to act like he's the smartest person in the room but he's a lazy poss who drowns himself in conspiracy theory bullshit because he feels it justifies his laziness. I told him he was loser and he needed to get out of my house. My dad immediately went into damage control mode and apologized for making me feel like I was making an unreasonable request or like I was personally going after some guy I've never even met. He said he would talk to the priest and my mom who was on my side completely, said that they would always do whatever they had to do to keep their grandchildren safe. I couldn't even look at my dad. I just asked them to leave and said goodbye to my mom. I went back out to the garage where my husband was and explained everything that had happened because he was expecting my brother and I to come back out. He wasn't involved in the conversation because initially I was just going to try and get them out of the house as quickly as possible but then when everything started I went into fight mode and didn't even think about getting my husband. He is also 100% behind me and feels that my dad and brother are both in the wrong, but he's letting me take the lead on this since it's my family but will absolutely be there for any other conversations we have on the subject. So, am I asking too much? Is notifying the people in charge about what happened going too far and vilifying this man? I don't think so, but I cannot explain my father and brother's position on this. Am I the asshole? 
TLDR, my 15-year-old daughter was made to feel uncomfortable by an old man when she was at church with my parents. My dad thinks that making the lead priest aware of the situation is going too far and said I was trying to crucify the old man for being nice because in this day and age, a man can't be nice without it being taken the wrong way. My brother took my dad's side and I kicked them both out. Update. I have an appointment with the priest tomorrow at 2. I will be going with my father because he was there, and Stella can decide for herself if she'd like to come, I will not force her. Edit. I'd like to address some of the more common comments I'm seeing. Many people have questioned why I waited for my dad to handle this instead of taking the lead and speaking to the head priest myself. I honestly thought I could count on him. I was raped by a boyfriend in high school but never told anyone. I tried to suppress it for as long as I could but three years later, I found myself in a bad situation in college and while I wasn't harmed, it caused everything to come out. My father was beside himself. He wanted to kill the boy and felt so much guilt because he wasn't able to protect me. I honestly believed that the experience he had with me would make him act with much more urgency. Clearly, I was wrong. Regardless of that, I still should have been the one to handle this and shouldn't have waited for my dad. I also know that the Catholic Church has a shit record when it comes to Saw. I love my faith and my religion but I do have a lot of issues with the church itself. That being said, I've never been given any reason to doubt that my kids would be safe at church with my parents. They have many friends that they go to church with and are involved in youth group. I knew there was going to be some pushback simply because the initial situation happened at a Catholic church. I won't try to change anyone's mind but I will say that my experience in the church, up to this point, has always been good and I have found a lot of comfort in going to mass as have my children. I would never knowingly put my children in harm's way. I'll do my best to update you all after the meeting tomorrow afternoon. Thanks for all the love and support. Relevant comments. Comment. Honestly Opus you should call the cops it's not a matter if the old creep will do it again me how he behaved with your daughter he has done this before and your father plus brother's behavior is suspect in all this. Opus. I will say, I think this is too far. While I've never met the man, my mom said he is in his late 80 seconds, uses a walker and has a hunchback. She's also pretty sure he has dementia. Her own mother has dementia and she spends a lot of time with and goes to all of her doctor's appointments with her so she know what to look for. Stella wasn't physically harmed, and my husband both told her that if she's ever in a situation where she feels uncomfortable or someone is touching her without her consent, even if it's just holding her hand, she can remove herself from the situation. We've talked to all the kids many times over the years about consent and speaking up for yourself. Stella is very quiet and doesn't like to make any kind of scene so I'm not surprised that she didn't really know how to react in this situation. I don't suspect my father of being involved in anything nefarious. He just hates conflict and making waves, but this situation is absolutely deserving of a few waves. My brother is just an idiot with his head up his ass but not a bad person per se. I just want the right people to be made aware in case this has happened before or it happens again so that if it is a pattern of behavior, the church can protect the other young girls who may be put in a similar situation. Comment, EAH except your daughter. Why are you not going to the church with your daughter? Doing public service is not church. Try feeding the poor or something. I want to point out the church has a history of rug sweeping child saw so why are you surprised? Opus, when gave the kids some options for community involvement we suggested going to the food bank once a month, helping at the local animal shelter, or becoming involved in church in some way. They chose to become involved at church. I know the Catholic Church has a bad history of saw but I don't see it as the church doing anything wrong in this situation. Rather it's an old man who happens to go to the same church as us. I do agree with you though that I should have taken the lead and gone to the church with my daughter herself. Since I posted this, my dad texted me and told me he has requested a meeting with the priest and I told him I will be joining him and Stella can join us as well. But only if she wants to. Edited to add, we normally do go to church with them. But this night was an anomaly as we were going to dinner and a Halloween party with our best friends. Prior to this, I've never had any reason to be concerned about my children's safety with my parents. Comment, have you gone to the parish yourself, or are you still waiting for your dad to do it for you? If so, why and what are you waiting around for? Opus, since I made this post, my father texted to apologize and to let me know he has requested a meeting with the priest and I will be joining him. The priest is very active in the community and at the school which is not currently on the same as the church so just showing up at the church office doesn't necessarily mean that I'll be able to speak to him right then. But I do see your point. Update. Before I jump into the update, I want to address some of the comments I was seeing. Stella was not alone at church, she was there with her grandparents, just not standing directly next to them the whole time. 
Joseph approached her after she held the door open for him because he uses a walker and couldn't get the door open himself. When he asked her to follow him to a different door that was just a few feet from where she had been to help pass out brochures for the Knights of Columbus she thought it was a little weird but thought to herself that he's an old man with a walk and she's in church, what could go wrong? I know the Catholic Church has a shit record when it comes to Saw but the priest we met with is a good man that I know personally. He is the priest that married my husband and I and I trust him to do the right thing. I won't try to change anyone's mind about the church. I don't know what your experience has been but mine and my family's has always been good. Also, Joseph does not work for the church nor does he head any committee or volunteer organization. He's just a weird old man who goes to church every single day and likes to feel involved. On to the update. When I got to the meeting today, which I recorded on my phone, my father started it by telling Father Thomas F.T. for brevity that at Mass last Saturday, Joseph was a little too friendly and made Stella very uncomfortable. I interjected and said that that is not all that happened. I explained everything that Stella had told me. F.T. was absolutely appalled. Apparently there have been issues with him before, but nothing like this. He has tried telling parish owners that if you're not a part of the Knights of Columbus then you aren't a good enough Catholic. He was told emphatically that he cannot say things like that. He was also asked not to come back to volunteer at the soup kitchen because of how he was bullying the homeless people into becoming Catholic. FT said it is clear to him that Joseph has some psychological problems but there has never been any complaints about him like this. My father tried to say that at some point in Joseph's life, it may have been normal to speak like that to women. My mother, FT and I all looked at him and said no. It has never been normal or okay for an old man to speak like that or to behave that way with any woman regardless of the age. FT asked what I was seeking. I told him that I wanted to ensure the safety of all the young women at the parish and ensure that no other girl would be put in the position that Stella was in. I also told him that sometimes elderly people have their driver's licenses taken away and perhaps he should be barred from volunteering in any capacity at the church from this point on. FT said he would be reaching out the head of the safe environment program in the diocese to put some new safeguards in place to make sure that this doesn't happen to anyone else. My mother then said that my father would be speaking with Joseph and I immediately interrupted her to say, no, my husband and I will be speaking to Joseph. Many of you pointed out that I shouldn't have waited for my father to address this because she is my daughter, and you were all 100% right. I am not going to leave it to my father to make this man comfortable while telling him you can't talk like that anymore. I gave FT my business card and asked him to update me after he speaks with Joseph and with the safe environment head to let me know how they will be addressing this and to set up a meeting with me, my husband and Joseph. When we left the meeting, I told my parents, specifically my father, that what he did in minimizing this situation is exactly why so many women don't report things like this and it was nothing short of sexual harassment of a minor. I told my father that he can still think Joseph is a nice old man but that I would never be able to look at him the same way again and I don't know if I can trust him with my kids. That was the gut punch he needed because despite this new side of my father I'm seeing. He's always been a wonderful grandfather to all my kids. He owes Stella an apology but she doesn't want one. She emphatically said she just wants to put this behind her and doesn't want to talk about it anymore. As far as my brother goes, I got a non-apology apology from him via text this morning. It shouldn't go without saying, I'm sorry for getting involved and I wish I hadn't interjected myself in the situation. It's not my place and I support whatever you want to do. I haven't responded because I will go off on him again. I think I'm just going to let my husband deal with his bitch ass. Well, that's all I've got y'all. Once I hear back from FT and have a meeting with Joseph, I'll try to update y'all again. Thanks again for everyone who gave advice on how to help Stella through this and how to handle another situation like this. Because let's be honest, she will. Relevant comments. Comment. He also admitted it is not his place to have an opinion in the first place, and that he wants to support you going forward. Opus. My brother may have said what you consider to be the right thing. What you have to understand is that there is a lot of stuff missing from these two posts about him. In a nutshell, my brother has always been the bare minimum amount of work type of lazy. He uses conspiracy theories to justify why he continues to be lazy when he has a wife and two kids to support. He'll never get ahead because the system is rigged so why should he try? He has a victim mentality and immediately prior to this blow up he was complaining to us about his marriage. My husband and I were telling him that we have been where they are now and it gets better if you do the work. He didn't want to hear anything we had to say which is fine, but her kept complaining. I simply and very calmly asked him if this was the marriage he wanted to model for his own son and daughter. He just looked at me all sad. 
My brother is the type that when he's been caught and he knows he's wrong but not willing to admit it, will lash out and make personal attacks to put you down. He's always done it and has always been allowed to get away with it and I've fucking had it. No more boys being boys and no more Manny being Manny. If you're going to be a awful human being, you'll get called out on it. You're welcome to your opinion, I'm not trying to change it, but I'm hoping this will help you understand why I won't accept his half apology and that I'm not just being a petty bitch. Update number 2. TLDR, my mom is a boss, Joseph is an old creepy curmudgeon, Stella is moving on to bigger, better things being the amazing human she is, and things with my brother are still unresolved. Earlier this week, I got a call from my mom and she told me that when she and dad went to mass last weekend, they spoke to Father Thomas before mass and he told them that he had spoken to Joseph about his behavior and told him that he was out of line in general with how he approaches people and tries to convince guilt people into becoming Catholic but that his behavior behavior with Stella was 100% inappropriate and wouldn't be tolerated. Father Thomas told my parents that he seemed to be very apologetic and remorseful. Shortly after that conversation with Father Thomas, Joseph arrived at Mass and pulled his walker up to the same door he stationed himself at with Stella and prepared to hand out brochures. There was no girl with him this time thank goodness, but it royally pissed my mom off that he seemed to move on without any consequences. She approached Joseph and asked him what he was doing and she said he was very dismissive of her and told her he had every right to sit there and hand out brochures for the church's different ministries. My mom said, well, Joseph, nobody would have an issue with you doing this if you weren't such a condescending bully about it, and what you did to my granddaughter was gross and inappropriate. If you can't behave, then you should not be sitting here interacting with people. Joseph told my mom that he did nothing wrong, he was just being nice, so she just stood there next to him to make sure that he didn't cross any lines. He was so irritated that she wouldn't leave his side that he went and took his seat in the church and waited for mass to start. She also said that she was going to tell her friends with young daughters, granddaughters to not let them be alone with him. That same day that I spoke to my mom, I got a call from Father Thomas. He said he spoke to Joseph and said that while he was apologetic, he didn't think that my husband and I having a conversation with Joseph would be productive. He said he honestly believes that he has some mental deficiencies and that he is just a really stubborn old man. He was supposed to be moving across the country to live with his daughter a few days ago, but his wife fell and was hospitalized so the move likely won't happen until she is healed and can make that journey. He said that my mom spoke to him after mass and told him she was upset that he was still sitting at that same door and she wanted him to do something about it. But it's a public space and there's only so much he can do but that the way my mom handled it was classic. I told him I understand that he's in a hard position but that my suggestion to him and all the other priests, volunteers and staff members would be that if they see a girl or young women with Joseph at mass the way Stella was, to approach them and make conversation with her to make sure that she is okay. I spoke to Stella and my husband about the conversations I had with both my mom and father Thomas, and they both are fine with the way things are. Stella reiterated that she just wants to move forward and forget about him. As a service project, she wants to start a ministry with the safe environment program to help girls and boys become more comfortable speaking up when someone is making them uncomfortable or they feel unsafe. I'm so proud of her for this and Father Thomas has set up a meeting for us to see what we can do and how we can start it. Things with my brother are still unresolved, I just don't know what to even say to him. If you read my previous posts, you can see that I can be a bit long-winded and I don't want to have a long drawn-out conversation. But I also have a lot that I want to get off my chest, so I'm struggling with how to approach it. A lot of people took issue with the fact that I hadn't accepted his apology, and that when I initially responded to him during the argument, I made it personal. Prior to the nastiness, my husband and I had been talking to him about his marriage he brought it up and how he and his wife married seven years only talk for about 11 minutes a day, and it's only ever about the kids they have two under five. We've been telling him for months that individual therapy would be hugely beneficial as would marriage counseling, but he just keeps saying it's a racket, and they can't afford it my parents have offered to pay for it as have my husband and I that conversation ended with me asking him if this is the type of marriage he would want for his kids. He didn't have a response he just looked me all sad. Something to know about my brother is that he has a Jupiter-sized inferiority complex and he overcompensates by trying to make himself seem like the smartest, most virtuous person in the room and when he realizes he's not or he's wrong about something, he lashes out with personal attacks. My husband thinks that him coming at me was his way of lashing out for making him feel stupid. He's probably right. I just want to do this right so that our relationship can be somewhat salvaged. 